In 2 Kings 19, King Hezekiah of Judah, he receives a threatening letter from the Assyrian king, Sennacherib, in which he kind of mocks Hezekiah's trust in God. He warns them that the Assyrian army is coming for them and that they'll be destroyed, just like any and every other nation that has stood in the Assyrians' way. Well, in verse 14, we read Hezekiah's response, and it's brilliant. The perfect example of what we should do when facing circumstances that may seem overwhelming or out of our control. You see, Hezekiah takes the letter to the temple, spreads it out before God, and he begins to pray. And first he acknowledges who he's praying to. In verse 15, he says, O Lord, God of Israel, you are enthroned between the mighty cherubim. You alone are God of all the kingdoms of the earth. You alone created the heavens and the earth. You see, he prays, acknowledges who God is, and prays for protection and deliverance. And God uses the prophet Isaiah to tell Hezekiah that he will protect his people and that the Assyrians, they won't even shoot an arrow at the city of Jerusalem. Well, we read that that night, the angel of the Lord went into the Assyrian camp, killed 185,000 of the Assyrian soldiers, and Sennacherib, he leaves Judah without even an attempt on God's people. This chapter is a powerful reminder of the importance of trusting God in crisis. Hezekiah, he could have been easily overwhelmed with fear and anxiety, but instead he turned to God. Today, let me encourage you to follow Hezekiah's example of trusting God in all circumstances and turning to him in prayer. See, remember, God is faithful and he is able to deliver us and see us through any trial we may face.